Guys, look, look, look. Goslings. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Guys, finally I've got goslings onto the farm. Very soon we're going to have geese on farm up. So if I come any closer, they're going to run away, guys. Um I think they are still afraid of me. They are wondering who is this freaky guy, our freaky boss, uh, using a camera or holding stuff and trying to record us. There's a chicken trying to interrupt everything. But guys, yeah, this is it. I brought gooselings onto the farm. Uh, we're going to have geese and I'm so excited. This right here is their little house. Um, it's the house that I made last time. I showed you guys that I was making and right now it is very ready. So yeah guys let me show you around the gooselings then i'm going to ask you guys a few questions that i'm having because it seems a little bit freaky so guys it's quite windy right here but well i record the video from here you can see the gooselings right in the background over there trying to move around now guys this was supposed to be the garden with kale and everything but you can see weeds have grown in here the kale is also growing in here and where the gooselings are there is some spinach over there now of course after i decided that i'm going to be bringing the gooselings i decided not to weed because i'm very certain the gooselings are going to eat the weeds you know uh, i found out something really interesting the fact that they love to forage instead of eating cereal so guys what happened is that i got cereal out this was maize bran and you know whole grain like maize and i gave to the gooselings and they seemed not to like it they just walked past it and they went and decided to start feeding on the grass on the kale right now i'm starting they're eating the spinach you guys can see them you know right there 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 is some spinach so um i find that really really interesting and then the other thing as you guys might know gooselings and geese in general love water like they really love water and guys since i don't have a pond already like set up and dug i just decided to use a container a huge container and i put the gooselings inside the container guys to my surprise the gooselings can't get out of the container oh my god i thought they would like be able to climb and get out they can't so it looks like i've got to get them put them inside the water and then get them out of the water which seems like more work than I had actually anticipated. So it looks like I'm going to have to, you know, probably dig up something like a pool to put them in. But that's not something I'm going to do right now at the moment. Uh, I'll just keep putting their water inside a basin or something like that for them to drink and that kind of stuff. Then the other thing that I can't really figure out is how to separate the male and the female. Guys, I have two of the gooselings, yeah? So one is a male, one is a female. Well, the guy who sold them to me is probably an expert at it. He assured me one is a male and the other is a female. Guys, I can't separate them. Right now, the only thing I can tell is that the bigger one is the male because he told me that's the male and I could see that it's bigger. And the smaller one is the female. But while we were at the farm, it looked like the females were bigger. So honestly, and even right on the farm, the adult ones, I couldn't tell the difference between the male and the female. Guys, if you have this information, please give me this information. I would love to be able to differentiate which ones are males and which ones are females. But yeah, guys, the other thing that I'm going to be doing, guys, I'm not going to vaccinate these geese or the gooselings. I want to grow them as organically and natural as possible. So no vaccines, no, you know, excess vitamins or anything like supplemental vitamins. I'm not going to be giving them any drugs, any antibiotics, nothing. All they're going to be doing is growing up in here, feeding on the kale, feeding on all these weeds. Guys, there's lots of weeds all around here. I don't know if you guys can see them. Um, yeah, lots of weeds in the background. Lots and lots of weeds, you know. There's a banana plantation in here. I know they're going to, you know, kind of mess up part of grandmother's uh, banana plantation. But yeah, that's it. So I'm really excited about these gooselings. Um, the other thing that I found really interesting is actually what they are doing at the moment. You'll notice they just sit down and graze. So they don't graze while standing up, no. They actually do sit down and graze. I don't know if they're just lazy or something like that. But they'll move the way they are moving and then they'll just sit down and decide to graze while sitting down. Which I actually found interesting because, you know, the chickens don't do that. The turkeys don't do that. Even the ducks that I've seen don't do that. But these ones seem to graze while sitting down. That's interesting. But this is something I'm really excited about. I'm going to be growing this goose farm. I've started with two. 
one hopefully female and the other male and i want them to grow up um and be able to you know reproduce so that i get very many of these geese and then probably i'll be able to you know reproduce them sell them to the market and yeah have a very big farm of geese anyway guys that was a quick video into my geese farm uh, i hope you guys have loved it in case of any questions or anything or any suggestions guys there's lots of stuff i don't know about this goosling hopefully they'll be able to know where their house is and they'll be able to enter without me chasing them you know that hey guys this is your house because i prepared their house very well guys i put wood shavings on the inside i put an interesting door which just you know moves upwards and then downwards so that they're able to climb and go inside their house so i'm really excited about this guys i hope i'm successful right here you can see my my love nests for the black soldier fly guys i'm just waiting for this black soldier fly to be delivered to me and then i start you know the whole thing because i'm really anxious i want to cut down my feed prices so guys yeah um lots of love don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and hit the like button lots of love Bye-bye.